Hey guys, it's Jess, Seattle Dessert Geek, and today we're talking about Easter eggs because I got given some and it's time to play with them. I've got two different eggs and both are filled and both are gonna be smashed in different ways because why stop at one way when you can have two? First up, this little treat is the filled egg from Dolcetta Sweets, who is a one person operation based in Seattle. And this is her filled egg with the peanut butter crisp truffles and these truffles are pretty much banned in my house because, well, they're kind of, uh, they're addictive. They're really, really addictive and they're amazing, slightly warm, and they're basically peanut butter and crispiness and just a bit of salt and you should just eat them. This is from Franz, in case you couldn't tell based on the ribbon. Seriously, if you're from Seattle, you pretty much recognize all the Franz ribbons because they are hardcore into the ribbon art. It's, it's a thing. And this is actually not made with a mold. And they said this takes a week to make from start to finish because one, there are filled chicks with caramel in here. And then on top of that, this is a layered mold with chocolate swirled by hand on top of this. Okay, round two. Since I don't have a meat tenderizer, let's try a wooden blade. Alrighty, so we've got both these guys. I'm going to start with Franz because this is going to be harder to eat. Okay, how do you eat this on film? Mm. Oh. I'm pretty sure this is 64%, which is the standard, or maybe even the, the new 70. But what's really neat is I'm sure this isn't going to show up but they're actually, you can see all the thin layers in here, which is super cool. It's very thin. It's even thinner than I expected from seeing this mold. Like, there's actually some bend, and it's not just because it's really hot in here. It's because there are multiple thin layers to make this shell. Let's try this little guy. They usually look a bit better when you haven't been dropping them. This is what I love from the Friends team, so look at this. Super thin top shell, super thin. Really full of caramel and just enough of a base chocolate to have some bite, but not too much so you feel like eating a chocolate bar. If you like their salted caramel, you're going to like this. This, it's their caramel. I wish it had salt because I like the salt balance they do. As it is for me, it's a touch sweet but it's also really warm in here and who knows what's going on in my palette. Next egg. This one might be one, actually there's two layers of chocolate in here and they're a bit thicker, you can see that, but that's not a bad thing. It's a soft chocolate right now again because it is so warm in here. And because you've got the peanut butter guys, it's you can really smell the peanut butter going on. Dedication to chocolate. Not really good stuff. This is actually a smaller version of their regular truffle, which is great. I actually like this size a lot because the big ones are a little big for me. Mm. Yeah, I love both of them. Don't love being a chocolate mess, but I just really like that texture. It's not really a fair comparison. We're dealing with a caramel that I like having with salt and a salted peanut butter crispy thing. Okay, what are you feeling? peanut butter crisp or caramel? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And until tomorrow, go eat all the things. Bye.